What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. We have another unboxing video for you today. As you can see, we already unloaded the truck. It's not a super big shipment, but it's gonna be an awesome shipment. I'm gonna just jump right in and, and start cracking open boxes because that's all we wanna see. And we do have something special here in the spirit of Halloween. There is a devil in one of these boxes, so you don't want to miss it. Alright guys. Wait, I, okay. Alright guys, I got my little cheat sheet here, so I'm going to know what's in this box before you guys. And this is box 13. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff in here. Alright, let's see. Okay. Oh, there's more tape on here. Still got to open one. Okay, let me go grab a knife. All right, guys, so I was pulling off the tape here, and then I saw something that I really didn't uh, expect. This was something that uh, Rodrigo and our China partner had started discussing with our new partnership about labeling our boxes. So I saw this on the inside. Take a look. Let's see here. So I guess this oh. is, oh, you ripped the box. Oh, I, what are you doing? Okay, okay. So I guess this is like a first draft run of this label and uh, it looks pretty cool. We got my logo there. Um, we still got to get the Predatory Fins logo on there and then our China partner which is W&W, &W, we're going to have to get their logo in there. But I guess that's a nice first draft for now, all right. Um, but yeah, I, I know that uh, Rod had already let the cat out of the bag um, when he uh, did a post on social media this past weekend. But I guess it's official, right? We are now an international company based out of Los Angeles, Florida, um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and China, all right? Okay, so let's see here, coming closer. All right. The packing is really nice. The water looks really clean. The bags are all still nicely inflated and of course, this is the VIP fish. Everything is white. What do we got here? That is an albino Asian red tail. This thing is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now let's see. We have another one right here. A second albino Asian red tail. Wow, the tail is really nice, right? This is for show for you guys, okay? These are. Uh, high-end items that are pre-sold pre-ordered, but we do have a smaller one somewhere in here Okay, and that one is available. So if you guys like what you see here, this is the bigger version I think it's about it should be about like five or six inches. So when we get to that, I will show you as well Let's See what do we got here? Okay This is some kind of albino catfish And it's like yellowish pretty cool I'm not exactly sure what it is. Kind of looks like a, a a marble lancer, but it's not a marble lancer. It's something similar. Um, I'm gonna crack that open and show you guys as well. And last but not least, what is this guy? Oh, okay. This is some kind of barb. All right. Um, it's similar to the Julian barb, but the cousin of it but it's a platinum version of it. That is awesome. Okay, really nice. All right, um, so I guess we're gonna open some of these bags and give you guys a good look at this fish. I'm just gonna change some of the water and then put in fresh oxygen and then it's on its way. I'm gonna make a phone call. Customer is gonna come pick it up right away. All right, so this is the first bag of this unboxing video, this special Halloween edition. The freaks are out, look at that. Really beautiful. I just love how red that tail is. So we got the red eyes, the nice white body, and the tail is so red. What's wrong, Ellie? <laughs> Mosquitoes, okay. All right, so back to the fish. On a, on a normal um, Asian red tail, it's all black and the tail is red. But the red is a little bit different. It's more like a darker red. But this is a very bright, 
vibrant red. Really beautiful. I really like this fish. What do you think? Uh, I guess that look is not a look of approval. <laughs> um, all right. So not everyone knows how to appreciate a good fish. All right. Okay. But anyways, this is nonetheless a really beautiful fish. So let me start adding some water. We're going to exchange some water and then bag it back up. But the fish looks fine. There's no uh, real concerns. They came in really healthy. No ammonia burn on the fins. No sign of stress. So that's a really good thing. So let me pour out some of this water here. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, maybe the fresh water is making him active. Okay, so while that guy is acclimating a bit, Let's get to this next one here, which is that little albino. Well, these are all albino, but um, I guess albino um, has different colors. Typically, people think albino is being white, right? But as you can see, it's, it's, it's like a reverse play in the color. So we got white and red on this one. And then in this guy right here, it's more white and yellow. Okay, so... It's cool that there can be like these different color variations, but nonetheless, um, anything albino, the colors are also much brighter and more appealing. So let's see this one. Oh, this one's a little bit jumpy. That thing is beautiful. Oh. Now we see the difference here, right? It's very yellow, okay? So we compare side by side between this albino catfish and this albino catfish right here. It's very white, very red, and this is just like an overall yellow tone. Oh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so this guy is a little bit more jumpy. Let me uh, pour out some of this water here. I probably don't think I'm gonna attempt I think we should to lift it up. This guy first, the yellow one. Well, let's see. Well, I want to show everyone at home, you know, the differences of uh, different types of albino. Okay, the first thing that uh, people usually look for in albino is the red eyes. And both of these fish have the, oh, okay. All right, let's not do it that way. Let's, you know what, let me turn off the flash. Maybe the flash is bugging his eyes. Okay, look, see? We can now see the clear eyes, or the, the, the pinkish red eyes, and the, the yellow color. All right, but obviously, this fish looks like it's a very, um, what's the word, jittery fish. So we're gonna leave him alone. As long as I got to show you guys, that was the goal of this video. And then now you can see the eyes on here, right? The same type of pink eyes, but the body's very different color. And this could be because this, like I said, this fish naturally is all black. So that's why uh, in albino it's reversed, so then the black becomes white. This fish, uh, I'm not sure what the normal version of this one is, but it probably has some like uh, white or yellow tone to it and then albino makes it like that as well. All right, next. so next, 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 next. Oh, let me, should I add more water? Scoop it, then I don't have to freak out the fish. Well, Ellie, why don't you do this while I open the next fish? Okay, just scoop some of the water out and add a little bit of water slowly, not too fast, okay? All right, oh, so this is the platinum barb, okay, and I forget the name of it, but I will look it up. I forget the scientific name of this one, right, because um, all these scientific names are so hard to remember, but uh, I will definitely, if you guys are interested to know what species this is, I will definitely look it up. See, now this is an all-white. A platinum fish okay so a platinum fish is gonna have black eyes let's see if, let's see if he's gonna panic on me okay so let me show you hey, all right 
he's not cooperating. But, oh, right, get in close and show everybody this fish has black eyes. So it's not an albino fish. It's, uh, it's what we call platinum. Okay, so now this water has a little bit of ammonia smell to it. So let's change some of it out. Get some fresh water in there. Okay, and let me put a drop of ammonia remover in everything. Okay, give it a swirl to mix and help detoxify the ammonia. What I just added, it doesn't remove ammonia, and like Amquel and all that stuff, it doesn't remove ammonia. What it does is it detoxifies it. It changes it to a different form, uh, which is non-toxic to the fish, but the ammonia is still there. So sometimes you're gonna get a false reading, all right? When you put that stuff in and you think the ammonia should go down on your test kit, it doesn't. What, what happens is it's still there, you'll still read it, but it's in its non-toxic form. So this is the first three unboxing. We got this platinum barb right there, all right? Okay, and we're gonna start bagging now. We got this yellow albino, some type of Asian catfish, and we got this albino Asian red tail. All right, so let's start bagging this back up, and uh, then we can get these out to its owner. I think I should add a little bit more water into this. Alright. There we go. Don't jump out on me. 